from United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. He told me he would give me money. He told me he would pay for my mother to get well. He told me he could solve all my problems. He told me I had to make one little trip to London. The film, Eva Goes to Foreign, shows why some women are enticed into the drug trade. It's a scene that 33-year-old Nicole knows only too well. Nicole, who has asked us not to use her real name, became a drug courier, a person who carries drugs for traffickers. It all began when Nicole found it difficult to support her family. Her husband wasn't helping anymore. She needed some quick cash. A friend said he could help her out. A girl passed by a flashy car and he told me what she does. Nicole was intrigued. The girl was a courier. She thought this could help her start a new life in the UK. He introduced me to his friends and they told me to carry one kilo of cocaine and they would give me some money. It wasn't much money. It was probably 500 US. Not much money, but for Nicole, every dollar counted. And with that, Nicole became one of the many couriers in Trinidad and Tobago. The Twin Islands strategic location makes it an ideal transshipment point for traffickers. According to the Caribbean Community and Common Market, CARICOM, some 310 metric tons of cocaine transit the Caribbean to Europe every year. Almost half of that is seized by customs. But drug couriers keep trying. The dealers contacted Nicole two weeks after the initial rendezvous. They took her luggage, packed it, and gave it back to her at the airport. When we reached to the airport, we had two flights in one line. So the best that everybody can start is to let them pass through. At that point, I didn't get checked. Nicole had managed to evade customs in Trinidad, but her luck ran out when she got to London. Immigration man stopped her, and he said, we believe that you have an illegal substance. Instead of one kilo of cocaine, they found four. Charged with narco-trafficking, Nicole was sentenced to seven years in prison. Every year, UK Customs discover thousands of women carrying illicit drugs. But with new technology, it's getting harder to trick customs officers. We also have a body scan machine, which is very similar to an x-ray, but not quite so powerful. Okay, you can see that this gentleman's swollen. And that will enable us to see all the um, intestines and the stomach area, and we will be able to see any packages that are there. With tighter security at airports, traffickers are becoming smarter. James Filbert is acting commissioner of police in Trinidad. He says traffickers are constantly searching for new ways to move their drugs. Embedding the drugs into furniture. Looks like your average gift box. Using the drugs as bits of artifacts. We have a game station. This was from hidden. Every conceivable method is being employed to take drugs out of the country. The global trade in illegal drugs is worth an astonishing $523 billion, according to the UN Office on Drugs and Crime. Here, the international community is helping out with intelligence, surveillance radars, and aerial patrols to keep drugs from coming in. And the Coast Guard is already putting that intelligence to work. This small boat was just fishermen on the way home. But this one, recently intercepted, was loaded with more than 800 kilos of drugs. While trafficking rates are down, some drug kingpins from South America still persist in channeling narcotics through the islands to western markets.
This report was prepared by Mary Ferreira for the United Nations.